What's good, people? All right, good day, I should say. Oh my gosh, I literally cut my mustache like this part and it still does that. I don't know why it's so damn thick. Anyway, I wanted to make a video about sexual energy today. So, I always talk about um, Nikola Tesla. That's like one of my favorite, um, not a scientist, basically like a, I guess you could say a spiritual scientist. Yeesh. So, as as people know, we've been seeing like you know this has all all been pops work. The uh, what is it? No fab, uh, semen retention. You got Kevin Samuels. You got the red pill stuff. This is all pop, man. This is all pop for this time that's coming, right? So we can understand why he said the things in the Bible, why he said not to lust, why he said to have a wife, why he said not to fornicate, blah blah blah, why he said to not have sex until you're married. But at least he let us see why, right? So Nikola Tesla said. Um, when they he had an interview and one of the guys asked him um, about females he said he said uh, females are the biggest thieves of the sexual energy meaning some of us have strong sexual energy where we can create and we can transform things and, and create a life right he said females are the biggest thieves of this energy because it, it, when like some of us have a very strong sexual energy that's why a lot of people can't control their desires but because their desires that's why you have to learn how to control yourself your desires um what you eat uh what you watch who you talk to your energy anything you give your energy to is like giving is having sex like so me me even talking to this is like having sex me sitting on the chair you get what i'm saying me touching the wall and shit so he said even they asked he said um they asked him did he, he they said uh, when you were younger you were like a good look you were a handsome man did you did you have like any women or whatever he had women but he was like he'd rather be alone he said he seen sometimes um for some people it was better for them to be alone and some people they get energy you know they, they receive energy vital um spiritual mental healing from the woman right but he said for him it was the other way around where he just was by himself because he said he said what he seen was females were the biggest thieves of the sexual energy and you have to understand this a lot of us was in relationships with people who did not have our best interest and we trying to figure out why right and it's because of your energy so you can see it's like it's like a, a, a spider a female spider when they get the male in their web they just they, 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 they suck his blood and they leave him there you get what I'm saying or they keep him there that's what they want to do to you you have the power to uh, transform your life and to also bring something into this world to make it better but if you're also, if you're always giving your energy, your sexual energy, which is to create, because you can create a baby with it. You can create a baby. I'm talking. Somebody created me. You know what I'm saying? So if you can create with that, but you're giving it to low life women, that's why you have to also uh, be aligned with yourself that way and love yourself. That way, um, when you love yourself, you'll wait. I haven't had sex in like two years. I said that already. Two years and some change. And I'm grateful though. And I went through a whole process where I, I like I, I said it in another video. I told Pop, I was like, Shit, I'm happy. I ain't got no crushes or nothing. But I believe he showed me my wife. I'm going to have multiple wives. You know what I'm saying? Because I follow the most. I'm submissive to him. So I'm going to have submissive women. You dig what I'm saying? But I, I'm lying with myself. I'm lying with him. So that's beside the point. The whole point is, I know I don't need 6,000 women to go through. All I need is about six of them. That's cool. Six, ten. You know what I'm saying? That I can continue to get my energy. I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying you know what I'm saying? Some people may, but what I'm saying, I have a lot of energy, you know, but it's pure. I gave it to pop. I used to, you know what I'm saying? I, it's a process. It's not just saying, just stop. You have to learn yourself. I keep saying that. you have to love yourself to learn yourself, to know you cannot be super hard on yourself. It's a balance. You know what I'm saying? So your sexual energy is getting wasted with people who do not have your best interest. Maybe they know it or maybe they don't know it, but you have to know it because um, even like Coach Greg Adams in the Red Pill shit, which is just knowledge, common knowledge, ain't nothing new under the sun, pop knowledge. He said a lot of women like to have your non-sexual energy. So they'll make you think, that's why I think it says it in the Bible as well, men and women shouldn't be friends or can't be friends because it took me a minute to understand it, but I understood it because what they do is, some of them, they, they see that you have energy. They see that you have, that you're like really, um, people outside and shit they see that you're really energetic you got life and shit and then you get around them and all they want to do is take your energy and you'll be like 
you you want to do stuff like say say you was even even with a girl right and most men be like you know they want to go smash or whatever but you'll be with a girl and she'll just be trying to tease you the whole time and do this shit and not give you none or not even that you just with them and they're they're taking your energy they're not doing anything you want to do and i'm not talking about sex in this just anything you might hey let's go on the walk no, no, I'm okay. And they try to do all this shit. Let me just touch you and talk nice to you and do it. And you just getting frustrated. And you wondering why. It's little subtle things like that. You are a man. Live your own life. If you're not aligned with yourself, people are going to align to you and you're going to keep being frustrated. That's why you keep getting frustrated because you like this and shit. Oh, why they not doing that? No, do what you want. If they not aligned with you, throw them away. And then they'll come back. If not, they went for you. I had to learn this. I had... <laughs> I literally was talking to Pop this morning because I was like, I seen like a lot of people, like they live off of my energy, bro. They live off your energy too. If you got a strong energy, if you've seen this video. So like where I leave, man, I can't wait till I leave this house that I'm in because I'm going to speak. Boy, I'm going to speak about, ooh. So they living off my energy. So I know my energy is strong. So with my son's mom, right? Even other people, when I to finally told them the truth, what did they do? My, my son's mom came and stole my son from me, basically. That's my seed. You know what I'm saying? But but I understand. I have to go through stuff. Y'all, I just take it as y'all testing me. Because he's good. And he does good. He does bad. Blah, 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 blah. So I take it as a test rather than the evil. Not. But they don't know that they're incurring their guilt. They don't know that. But he's using it as a test for me. That's how I look at it. But they take your energy where you don't want to do stuff that they want to do. You get what I'm saying? So they'll sit there and literally try to flirt with you and do all this just to get you to waste your energy with them. They don't want you to do nothing great. They want you to waste your fucking energy. So what I'm trying to say is save your energy for yourself. Um, also, what I had to do is uh, cut the, fa the faucet off of these people. I said it before. Cut the faucet off. You start to see. Take your energy. And this is what Pop has been telling me lately because in this house I'm in, it's literally like a fairy tale, bro. My, I, like I keep saying, I live with my stepdad, bro. This nigga told me the other day because I didn't vacuum the living room floor. I, I, I sleep in like, this is the area where the dining room is at. This dude gonna tell me, cause uh, I vacuumed my area, which is a small area. He gonna tell me, why did I vacuum the whole floor in the living room? And I'm like, bro, I've been doing this since my son left in, La in, in May of 2020, even before that. And he ain't said nothing about me doing that. Now all of a sudden I'm about to leave this month and now he tell me I can't vacuum no more. I can't vacuum? That's not, it's, what kind of world are we living in? He didn't say, you can't play the game. He said, I can't back you. I'm 30 years old. He told me I can't. What the? You hear what I'm saying? So, when, like I said in the last video, when they when they fall and they don't have nothing because you're righteous and you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're innocent and the judges, the most high's eye, they can't do nothing. They try, mm, mm, let me say something. They're trying to provoke you to, to do something. So, what I'm saying, take your energy back. I have to do this as well. I have to learn. I always be yelling at my dog because he greedy as shit. And, I, and he's a dog. So, if people are like that, I'm throwing them away. But he's a dog. And look, every time, this video is not supposed to be this long. Um, he's a dog, but he be pissing me off because I'll feed him something, but he'll act like a hoe. He'll go all around. I know this is dogs do, but this nigga got a different type of dog mindset. This nigga's annoying. So it's like I have to stop stop um, giving my energy. Okay, mm, take it back subtly. Take it back. He say stuff. I started talking, talking to Pop. Pop be like, if he's uh, talking about my stepdad, if he say some weird stuff, because I'm about to be out here soon, because he's just trying to do stuff. He, he got my... He, he got my brother to fight him. That's all he's trying to do, but he can't do it with me because he's not pop with me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So the whole thing is you got to, I can't, I can't keep, uh, uh, uh. when he says something absurd, I have to just be like, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then go back and talk to pop because that's my peace. That's my serenity. That's my safe haven. And pop already know because he's doing it. He's in carrying his guilt. So I don't need to go tit for tat with this nigga because he's a little kid and a grown man body. That's all these niggas are. They don't have a mind. So. Take your energy back from these women who don't use it right. Because if you're not using it right, you have to learn how to use your energy right. Sit by yourself, even if you're bored, and you'll start to see. Stop giving your energy to these people. Your energy is the most potent thing that you can have. That's what we are at first. Energy. Your light. Save your energy. It's not even save it. Put it into you. I started doing that. Start, even with my um, last point. Uh, I remember my son, me and my son's mom was together. And... We was, before my, we had our son, we was already like going apart. And then Pop, I, it was me. <laughs> I had that birthday thing, you know what I'm saying? And I said it, I was like, man, when I have my kid, I'm about to take my energy all the way from my baby mama. I really did that and I seen it. And then even from my mom, even from my dad, 
even from my, like even from the house, I started seeing it. And I started putting the energy in me. When my son, mom left, my hair grew like a motherfucker, bro. My hair never, I, I can never grow my hair past a certain point. So what I'm trying to say is your energy is very, very, very potent. Save it. Transform yourself. Put it into you. Love yourself. Love you.